Hi, Troy Smica from Great Day on the Water Guide Service here. Uh, well, it's early April uh, where I live here in central Minnesota. Uh, we're finally our first 60 degree day today. Uh, we're melting snow pretty well. Uh, time to start getting everything ready for the open water season, including rods and reels. Uh, I got a question from a viewer uh, about rods and reels uh, and line uh, as well. Um, talked about starting up or even just adding to what someone already has. Now I fish, if you follow me, you know we fish multi-species at guide uh, fish tournaments, so I've got over 30 different <laughs> rod and reel combos um, out of necessity, but not everybody wants to have 30 rod and reel combos. So just a little bit of talk about um, different techniques if you're not a multi-species fisherman. You know, we fish sunfish and we fish muskies, so obviously we need a wide range, but just some talk about some general uh, equipment a little bit to either get you started or upgrade things or add to your uh, rod and reel arsenal a little bit. Uh, we'll talk about spinning rods and reels here first. Okay, um, a lot of this is going to be good for bass and walleyes, largemouth, smallmouth, walleyes. Uh, panfish is a little bit different set of gear. Muskies is a little bit different set of gear. Even though a lot of this bass walleye stuff will work for pike unless you're going to Canada for really monster pike. Uh, this uh, we'll start with spinning rods and reels. Um, I love uh, the, to use St. Croix rods and for spinning reels, Fluger reels. Uh, this is a Fluger President spinning reel on a St. Croix Icon rod. This is a six foot nine inch, medium power, and a fa extra fast action. That extra fast action, as I talked about action, it means not much to bend. It doesn't go very far down the tip. Just maybe a foot down the tip is where the gun starts and then a lot of backbone. Um, this is a good rod. You see I've got it rigged up with a jig. It's a good rod for vertical jig and a jig like we were on the river in our last episode of Fishing and Hunting the North Country. Uh, good control and then lots of backbone and that real uh, fast tip where you can get a good hook set. This would be a good rod for pitching jigs. Uh, for uh, walleyes, it would be a good rod for pitching soft plastics for bass uh, as well. Um, this is a good jerkbait rod as well, that extra fast tip on there, all the snap that you put into a jerkbait or snap jigging, um, you feel it. So um, this would be a, a good all-purpose rod to do a lot of your bass and, and walleye and even pike fishing. Um, I have this one rigged up for a Lindy rig. This is a little longer. This is a seven foot. Um, and this is a medium power with just a fast tip. Uh, it's a good rod for live bait rigs. Uh, again, this is a uh, St. Croix uh, Legend Tournament walleye here. Uh, and a, again, a Fluger spinning reel. Um, and a little bit longer rod and just a slightly softer tip. Allows me to pull that Lindy rig, that live bait rig feel. Fish pick that up, give him the rod tip a little bit sweep back, get a nice long hook set with my arm and that seven foot rod to drive that uh, little live bait hook home. Uh, this would be a good rod also for tossing soft plastics uh, for bass. Again, just enough of a given that tip, you can feel that fish pick that up, but then you've got a good long rod with a good firm background or backbone to get a good hook set. All right, continuing with uh, spinning rods here. This is a uh, St. Croix, um, it's a Triumph. Um, and this is a six foot six inch with a little bit softer, a moderate fast action. You can see the rod bends further down the rod. Um, use this one for casting and retrieving things like a, this would be good for a swim bait. I've got a Fluger try on spinning reel on here. This would be good for a swim bait. Uh, this would be good for a spinner bait. This would be good for a crank bait. Um, that little bit more of a give. Something really important to talk about. If you're gonna have a tight line and a bait moving, like you're trolling a bait or you're casting and retrieving a bait steady at a pretty good clip, you want that softer, that moderate or moderate fast tip because when the fish comes up and inhales the bait from behind and pulls it in, that softer rod gives a little bit and they can get that bait in their mouth before the rod loads up and then you'll get a, a hook set on them. If you have a real stiff rod on that, a lot of times you're gonna have short strikes. You're gonna miss fish a little bit because that rod doesn't give it loads up right away and you can't quite suck that bait in, especially if you're moving it along fast. So this would be for, again, retrieving you know, a spinner bait, a crank bait, whether it's a walleye crank bait, a, a bass crank bait, a swim bait, a uh, good rod for that. Uh, talking about line real quick on my spinning 
rods that I like that that I use, spinning rod reel combos that I use for bass and walleyes, I mainly have 10 pound test on them. I might go with eight pound test specifically for jig fishing, especially in current, just a little thinner line, doesn't drag the water as much. But uh, generally I have 10 pound test on there and you probably noticed I'm using Berkeley Fireline and the crystal color. I really love the, for pretty much all of my fishing applications now, I like the smooth casting, the thin diameter, the no stretch, the abrasion resistant, um, like all those qualities for it. Sometimes if we're real clear water, I'll use a fluorocarbon leader just to make it a little less visible to the fish. But other than that, I love using that uh, Fireline. All right, switching over to bait casters. Uh, here we've got, this is a St. Croix Bass X, uh, six foot, eight inch. Uh, it's a medium power. This is with an extra fast action, not much bend in the tip at all. Um, great rod for using for, well, I use this a lot for uh, jerk baits. I use it a lot for top water baits, and I use it a lot for uh, pitching soft plastics. Uh, a good one for trying to skip uh, tubes and other soft plastics around docks and other docks. Um, the, the real firm tip, the tip that doesn't bend much, uh, when you're snapping a jerk bait, it uh, gets all of the action down to the, you know, lose the action from the bend in the rod. Uh, same with popping a top water bait on the top. Um, and also for getting when you feel a fish pick up on a soft plastic, getting a good firm hook set. That six foot eight inch rod with that stiff tip, you drive that hook hole. Um, so it would be good for all those kinds of things. I got a nice uh, uh, Apple Garcia cast reel on here. I love Fluker spinning reels. I love the Dabu Garcia bait casting reels. They're not the most expensive reels you find, which is not a bad thing because they are some of the most durable, longest lasting, smoothest working bait cast and spinning reels you'll find. So couple that with a reasonable price and uh, it's a great deal. You don't have to spend $300 on a reel. Uh, I have this fooled with a uh, 10 pound test fire line on here again and again for jerk baits and snapping topwater baits and getting a good hook set when a fish picks up the plastic and no stretch on that line. You get all the action to the bait and you get a good hook set. Here I've got, this is a seven foot, this is a St. Croix uh, Tournament Legend Bass Rod. Um, and this is a medium heavy power uh, and this is a moderate action. You can see a lot more bend of the rod. Uh, you can see I have it rigged up with a spitter bait on here. Um, this would be good for a spinner bait, this would be good for casting a crank bait, this would be good for working a swim bait. Uh, again, that softer rod tip that bends a little more as you're moving this bait. This is a rod I'm moving baits with, sometimes at a pretty good speed. And as a fish comes up behind and inhales that bait, that softer rod again will give. Let them get that bait into their mouth before the rod lifts up and you get a hook set. This would be good for troll crank baits uh, as well. All right, now I'll just touch on, I mentioned that's all good stuff for bass, panfish, or I'm sorry, bass, uh, walleyes, pike. Panfish, a little different story. You just have to go, not really have to go with lighter stuff. So I will talk real quick just about a general panfish rod here. Uh, if people want to hear about musky stuff, we can do that in another segment. Uh, this is a St. Croix panfish series rod. This is seven foot. Uh, it is an ultralight power. Um, and this one has a, fast tip, a little bit of bend to it. I have it rigged up with a slip bobber and a small jig with a soft plastic on. This is a great rod for um, fishing for crappies, uh, sunfish, uh, even perch, uh, a long rod, not a real soft tip on it. Good sweeping hook set to take up slack when you got slack line with a bobber uh, out there. Um, I'm using the fire line and the four pound test on there. Again, no stretch that stuff, so I get all the action when I set the hook, I get the hook set in there. Um, that really will take care of just about all your pan fishing needs. Uh, but you really do have to go with that lighter stuff for pan fish. So just to wrap things up, um, I showed quite a few rods there, but you're going to want to, depending on your species that you fish, um, and if you like fishing bait casting or spinning, you can do almost anything with a spinning rod you can with a bait caster. Um, but think about if you're going to be moving baits a lot, and something with a little softer tip, if you're going to be putting stuff out like a bobber or um, vertical fish in a jig or toss this off plastic where the fish is going to pick something up and then you're going to have to set the hook then you want a little bit for uh, what we call a fast action rod versus a more moderate action rod. Uh, again, and I would highly recommend uh, the fire line for the feel, the abrasion resistance, the no stretch of all the 
Um, you really could get by could get by with you know you can do multiple species three or four different rods. Um, hopefully that just gives you some ideas, some tips on some of the things to look for for different species, different fishing techniques. Um, hopefully that uh, answered your question uh, to the viewer. Who, Shared, but I uh, appreciate your question and hopefully that answers some questions. Feel free to message me if you have more questions. Um, until uh, our next episode of Fishing and Hunting in North Country or our next viewer question. Until we can get out on the water and enjoy this nice weather. Uh, thanks for watching and I'll see you out there somewhere.